Beats, Double K Productions. I am back with another tutorial. Back with you. This tutorial, I want to go ahead and talk about game staging and why game staging is so important and why we do it as mixed engineers when we get tracks. So, this track is called Running Man by Ryan Banks. Right up here at the top, as you see, Ryan Banks, Running Man. So, uh, why we want to gain stage when we get sunt stems and vocals and all that good stuff because we do not want these vocals or instrumental going into these plugins so hot so we want to gain stage them get them get the levels right on them already level them out so we got some headroom we got some good vocals to work with going inside these plugins like a compressor eq and whatever plugins we're going to use in this particular song so with that Let's go ahead and uh, show y'all what I got going on here. So, yes, I do have a camera now. Yes, you see me. And yes, my daughter's room. You probably see the bowls in the back. Probably see the uh, bed. But who cares? I am here with y'all. I'm engaging with y'all now. So, let's get into this tutorial. Uh, all running man. You know I got that rubber band, do the running man. On my wrist. Yes. Got that rubber band, do the running man. I'm the shit. Yeah. Now we all up in the spot. Now, I already gain stage this. What I'm gonna do is take off this vocal rider. Uh, I do want to say this is a little free mix, and he sent me his project because he was using Presona Studio One, uh, two. So he sent me the project, and I pulled it up just like this. Um. Uh, Long story short, so I can get into this, I, I talked about this on my previous tutorial. If you send me the project, I'll, I, uh, I'm going to see it just like this, broken down. If you send me stems, I'm going to see it all the way through from the beat to the end. And I'll talk about that and track down and stuff like that. So anyway, he sent me the project. He works in Studio One, Two, and I got three, so the versions are different. But it was easy for me to go ahead and mix this and uh, go ahead and work with it. So let's take our vocal ride and we're going to solo these out right quick. We're going to go ahead and solo this out. And uh, I'm going to show you that I already gang staged it. Now, I already gang staged it. I got the uh, verses done. I'm working on the hook right now. So stay tuned to the uh, next part of this song of me mixing in this hook live and stuff like that. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and put these back where they at uh it was at you know i got that rough at negative three three two we're gonna go ahead and put them back on zero now listen you know i got that rubber band do the running man got that rubber band do the running man and pay attention to this uh this this level right here and you can see it's hitting at zero and we don't want that going inside a plug you know i got that rubber band do the running man got that rubber band do the we don't want that so what we want to do for my plugins not to be so high go ahead and add a vu meter on that get what i'm saying let's go ahead and add a vu meter and yes you can gain stage from the faders or you can gain stage for the uh track the events itself, like I was explaining in the previous story, and I did it from the uh, events itself, the tracks itself, without messing with the faders because that's what I wanted to do. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that on scale, the scale on twelve, and we're gonna try to get this as close to zero as possible. Cause uh, look at it now. Look, it you know I got that rubber band, do the running man. Got that rubber band, do the running man. Yes, we definitely don't want that going inside my compressor. I want to go ahead, and when I hit this compressor, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It ain't hot, so you see the red. You know I got that rubber band, do the running man. Yes, so uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and put this VU up here, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight all this, what I already had highlighted, and then just messed up some crap. Come on now, do me right, do me right. Now let's uh let's mess with this. Let's get it to where it's just hitting that zero. Not going past it, just hitting that. You know what? Uh put a loop on there. Fox. You know I got that rubber band, do the running man. Got that rubber band, do the running man. Yeah, now we all up in the spot box. You know I got that rubber band, do the running man. Got that rubber band, do the running man. Yeah. 
box. You know I got that rubber band, do the running man. Got that rubber band, do the running man. And that's hitting exactly at zero. Now I turned it, I had it at negative three dot two as you seen, but this would be just right for the compressor to be. You hit. know I got that rubber band, do the running man. Got that rubber band, do the running man. And the way that I have to tweak it, because you can see is that the, the, the peaks is all over the place. It's all over the place when it recorded. And that's not a bad thing. You got got good levels, I mean good tracking in. Uh, it's just I need to gain stage for what I need to do. So plug, you know uh, I vocals. got that rubber band, do the running man. Got that rubber band, do the running man. Yeah, now we all up in the spot box. There it is. It's sitting right. And uh, sorry if I get too close, man. I'm I'm blind. I'm really blind, so I gotta see the event. So if I get close to the camera, don't worry about it. I'm not trying to kiss you on anything. <laughs> so that's gang staging, basically. A little quick, quick video. That's what I want to show you. But that's gang staging, and I did that throughout the whole, whole, um, whole hook, whole verse, and everything. I, I gang staged it. I even gang staged the beat. Uh, just so that the beat can be leveled with the uh, instrumental. You get what I'm saying? That's basically what game. All right, let me let me slow down real quick. Gang staging. So you won't get your plugins hot or anything, and so that the instrumentals, instrumental stems, whatever the case you have, will sit right just with these vocals. That's what Gang Station about. That way, you ain't fighting these faders trying to turn up, turn down. You already got everything just leveled out on a level plane. So that's why I did the beat with it. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't put any plugins on it because I left the beat. The producer did his thing on it. All I need to do is get it where I need to mix with. Give me some hair on. Let me let me work with these these vocals. You get what I'm saying? So I did that with the beat too. You know I got that rubber band, do the running man. On my wrist. Got that rubber band, do the run. And as you see, everything sounds leveled out. It ain't the beat ain't louder than the vocals. Now I, when I go ahead and put some plugins on these vocals. It's gonna sit just right. You know I got that rubber band, do the running man. On my wrist. Yes. Got that rubber band, do the running man. I'm the shit. Nothing man. too major with it. And I did the same thing on this. Uh, went to the track itself and turned it down. I got negative 12 D, uh, 9 dB. And then because the beat was so level, when I put the VU meter on there, where's the VU meter? We'll just drag and drop right here. And uh, we'll solo this beat out just to show y'all again. Uh, how you get this get how you gain stage and how you get it leveled right. Well, it's on six. Let me put it on. Four. And uh, to explain this VU, VU meter, sensitive is how sensitive you want it. Obviously, how uh, look bad. I mean, how quick and how. Hard and stuff like that is sensitive, but I leave that in the middle. I know I, know, I don't even touch the sens sensitivity. That's what it's called. Sensitivity. Yeah. Anyway, let's get back into it. Uh, 12. 12 is what re represents the DB. You got zero, you got six, you got 12, and you got 18. Where do you want this beat? Vocals, whatever the case you may be, game staging, where you want that to sit? I want it to sit just right at 12 because I feel like that's that's a good level. So I put it on 12. I could put it on 18 and get it a little lower, but that's too low for me. That's that's really turning up a lot of faders and trying to get it to to, to, to go loud as possible. So 12 is is a equal amount of when you mix them because it's gonna sit just right once you start adding EQs and compression and getting turning your levels up on these plugins and stuff like that. 12 is just right for the vocals to sit and that's what that means. 12 dB, 18 dB, 6 dB, and zero. And if I put it at zero, then that's basically the same thing. I won't be turning nothing up or down or just be where I wanted to sit and the vocals was already sitting at zero as you've seen. So with the beat. Just where I want it. Now all the vocals going to sit just right on that beat. Now that's it. With this tutorial, I will be back with the same track, same song with Running Man with, uh, by Ryan. I'll be back and uh, I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop some plugins on this hook to get it stop sounding muddy like this. Counting up the money with my... 
muddy. So I'm going to be back and show y'all. And we're going to just rock and try to clean it up. So thank you for tuning in to the tutorial. If you like the tutorial, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button so you'll be notified every time I post something. So thank you. Double K Beats tuning in, tuning out. Holla, man.